Welcome to our review on speed. First thing we need to consider is how we can actually obtain the measurements to allow us to calculate speed in any experiment we do in the lab. So when we're looking at calculating speed, we need to measure distance and we need to measure the time. So for measuring distance, most common way we do that in a lab setting is with a ruler. And to measure the time, you've got two options, either a stopwatch or a light gate. A slightly more high tech way to measure the distance is through using ultrasound. And the way that that works is in the diagram just beneath. You can see we've got our little sensor on one side and then a card fixed to our trolley on the other. So what the ultrasound device will do is it will send a pulse of the ultrasound out and it will record the time it takes for the pulse to travel to the object and back from it. And it can then use the speed at which ultrasound travels along with the time to calculate the distance. When we consider motion, there are two types. We have uniform motion and non-uniform motion. In uniform motion, the speed does not change. And in order to calculate the speed of uniform motion, then we do speed is distance divided by time. And you can use a triangle to rearrange that in case you needed to in the exam. But this is one of the equations you have to memorize. So find a way to sit and learn it. In non-uniform motion, the speed will change. So we can't use the same equation. We have to tweak it slightly. And what we say is that the average speed is the total distance divided by the total time. If we consider a really simple question here about calculating speed, you could be asked to calculate the speed of a car which is moving 100 meters in 50 seconds. First thing we do is we highlight, circle, underline, jot down those key figures so we don't have to keep rereading the initial part of the question. Then we need to write down the formula we're going to use, which is speed is distance divided by time. Substitute in our values, 100 divided by 50, and then plug that into your calculator to give you your answer of two meters per second. And remember, always show your working, even when it is such an obvious answer that you think I can do this in my head without any real thought. Make sure you write it down because silly errors do occur when you are sitting a real GCSE exam. Another key aspect you should make sure you are confident in doing is converting between the different units. So one kilometer is 1000 meters, one mile is 1609 meters, and one hour is 3600 seconds. Hopefully at the end of this video, you can describe how to measure distance and time in a range of scenarios that you may be given. You can use those measurements of distance and time to calculate speed. You can recall the equation to calculate speed in both uniform and non-uniform motion.